Hi, and welcome to Live Intro. I'd like to take you through and show you how easy it is to build a beat with samples and loops. So let's go over to our browser to the left, open this up, and let's go look for a drum loop to start our session with. So I'm going to open up the browser. I'm going to go up to the top of my bookmarks folder and make sure that I've got library selected. And then I'll go down to samples and I'll open this folder up and I'll go down to live intro sounds by loop masters. I'll click open this up, go down to the loop masters folder. And now you can see I've got a large amount of samples, and loops and beats to work with. So first thing I want to hunt down is some type of drum loop to work with. So I'm going to go to 2020 vision deep tech house, open this up, go to the drum and percussion loops. There we go. And now I'll just click an audition and go through different audio files, see if I can find something I like that I want to work with. So I'll just keep browsing and auditioning here. Kind of like this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click and hold and drag that into track one on clip slot one. And there we go. So our clip slot is now an audio clip with a launch button. So I'll activate that. Great. So now I've got a drum loop playing on track one. Next thing I want to do is go locate some type of bass loop to play along with this as we continue to build our set here. So I'm going to go back over to the browser, close up the 2020 Vision Deep Tech House, scroll down a little bit and see what we can find here. Here we go, Deep Tech Minimal, open up the bass loops folder, and again, we'll just click and audition different bass loops here. Actually, I like this one up top, so I'm going to go ahead and listen to it one more time. And now I'll just click and hold, drag it into the session view, and drop in, and now I have a new audio track with our bass loop. And I'll activate that launch button. Here we go. Go down here to the meter section on the audio track with the bass. Just a little volume there. So now I've got two audio tracks. I also have a blank MIDI track that I'm going to be using. So I'll click and hold on this MIDI track on the title bar and just drag it to the right slightly so I can have it over here on the far right. This way I've got my audio tracks side by side. So the next thing I want to do is go to my browser, go to my sample content, my library, go find some kind of percussion loop to sort of round this out as we build up our, our set here in live intro. So I'm going to close up the deep tech and minimal I'm going to cruise through our library here with all these different sounds, all these different loops. Ah, uh, there we go. Let's go to Prime Loops. Open this up. Scroll down a little bit, and here we go. Tribal Percussion Loops. I'll open this up. There we go. So let's audition some of these, see what we have. Actually, I like this one right here sounds pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and click and hold. Just like before, I'll drag that into the session view, drop it right in, and now we have a new audio track with our percussion. I'll activate that launch button. And as we did before with the MIDI track, I'll just click and hold on its title bar, pull that to the right, just so I can have these audio tracks lined up. I can also use my title bar to name these audio tracks. So let's go ahead and do that just to keep things straight here. I'm going to go to track one, go up under our edit menu, I'll go to rename, and I'll call that drum loop one. Go over to the title bar and track two on the bass, same thing, go under edit menu, go to rename. You also see I have the handy shortcut listed here as well. We'll call that bass. And lastly, our third track is percussion. We'll rename that perk. There we go. Speaking of perk, I think I'll adjust some of the volume here. I'll go down to the meter section, pull this down a little bit. So what if we actually want to go in and edit, say, the pitch of the bass and work with the sample itself? What I'll do is I'll click on the actual clip itself for the bass. Go down below and you can see I can see my sample edit window showing all the different parameters to work with the bass, including transposition. So we want to take that up a couple of steps here. Here we go. Or maybe down. 
So you can see I can adjust that in real time in live intro while everything's playing. You can also hit the orange tab button here to put that right back where it was. So again, over here in the sample edit window, you can see the insert marker is playing down the line here, showing us our loop length. Same holds true for our drum loop. I'll click on the drum loop. There we go. We can see its activity down here in the sample edit window. And I'll also go over here to the third track, click on the clip, show the percussion. And there's the sample edit window showing the audio of the percussion loop. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is actually add some MIDI into the process here and record some MIDI instruments. 